My name is Tyler. Welcome to the channel. We are looking at why I think CCIV stock is headed for a short squeeze. So I'm going to give you guys all the information that I have been looking at, what I have been following. And if you get anything useful out of the video, hit the like button, comment down below, subscribe to the channel, consider hitting the notification bell as well. But keep in mind, this is only my opinion. So I could be totally wrong here. We could go all the way down to $15 is basically the lowest point we can go to. So that is a possibility or we could short squeeze from here anything is possible so come to your own conclusions for anybody that might have forgot what a high short interest ratio is i'm going to read this to you guys and keep this in mind throughout this whole video Regardless, most options traders would agree that if a short interest ratio is defined as the number of days to cover, more than 10 days is pretty high. Likewise, short interest as a percentage of flow above 10% is pretty high and above 20% is extremely high. So this is very important to point out when people are used to over 100% short interest ratios or even anywhere close to that, that is not normal. That is ridiculously high. Extremely high is anything over 20%. CCIV's short volume ratio for April 16th, that was Friday, was 20%. Now, it has not updated for today, and when it does, um, if there's anything significant, I will definitely let you guys know about that. But if we come look at the short in, the short volume ratio, the percentage of the shares out of the, the volume of shares traded in that day that were sold short, uh, we could see it's pretty consistently between 20 and 25 percent of shares being sold short out of the total trading volume so that is significantly high and this is why we have been falling so much or this is at least a big contributing factor when 25 percent of shares are being sold short so the short the actual short interest is somewhere around 20 to 25 percent if you were to go take all this and average it out it's going to be you know between 20 and 25 percent there's only a couple couple days that are under 20 percent and there's you know they're usually around 24 25 percent for the day so that is extremely high right there and if we get some bullish positive sentiment or news around cciv that does come out we could definitely see a mini short squeeze nothing to the extent of gamestop or amc or anything else you guys might be used to but a significant short squeeze nevertheless now we are going to look at this article i'm not even going to read most of it i just want to point out what i have been saying about the pipe investors buying at 15 dollars, and this is associated directly with the lockup period so if you invest in a company and you are a private investor a pipe investor that's just private investor um you have a lockup period Generally speaking, there can either be a couple years long or a couple months long. So we're going to look at what this is. He's basically making his point why um, CCIV stock is a buy at $20 a share, which uh, ho hopefully everybody agrees with that if, I mean, they know how to do some analysis. So uh, closer to the pipe. For the first time since confirming the merger in February, Churchill Capital shares dipped under $20. On Friday, recall that the Pipe Private Investment in Public Equity investors committed to buying in at $15, an unprecedented arrangement due to the accentuating circumstances surrounding the deal following a month of rampant speculation. At $20, this is the closest that public investors have gotten so far to being able to invest alongside institutional heavyweights like BlackRock and Fidelity, among others. So these are when the blue chip investors have got in. And if you've seen any of my other CCIV videos, you would know this. Pipe investors got in at $15 a share. So the odds of us going back down to $15 a share are extremely low. I mean, the odds of us being under $20 like we are right now at $19.06 that is already extremely low but we are there so who knows we could keep going down further but we are just gonna see so much buying volume come in under $20 a share that it doesn't look like we'll stay under 20 for very long so as part of the deal those pipe investors agree to a lockup provision that prevents them from selling shares until either September 1st. With the DSPAC transition expected to close during the second quarter, shares will trade as Lucid Motors for a few months before that lockup exp expiration. As we enter the second half of 2021, investors will be closely watching the start of air deliveries. So this is what is going to cause the short squeeze, in my opinion, is going to be the demand behind the, sh the deliveries, the Lucid Air deliveries, and when they are going to start delivering these vehicles. Because they have pushed back deliveries 
to the second half of 2021. So it's going to be very important once they come out with a date to start delivering and actually getting some revenue streaming coming in. So uh, it is also worth remembering that the SPAC sponsor has committed to an even longer lockup period of 18 months. Churchill Capital and its operating team, which notably in includes former Ford CEO Alan Mulay. Mulally, I can't say that his name, but are committing as long-term investors that want to add as much value as possible by offering advice from its stable of industry veterans. In fact, Luce's decision to delay air deliveries from the spring to the second half was based based on feedback from Mulally and legendary auto executives put input will also be valuable as lucid ramps manufacturing operations so keep in mind even though this lock of period for pipe investors the private fund investors that bought into this before we had the chance to at $15 a share can start selling their shares September 1st but that does not mean they will that does not mean a majority of them will I think a majority of them will not sell their shares and opt to keep their shares and even exercise their contracts when the time is right so that is a date you can keep in mind if you want to I am gonna pin it to my computer so I personally know what date to expect this catalyst around could be a catalyst it might not turn into anything but um the other investors have a lock of period of 18 months so they can't sell their shares until well into what the end of 2022 or the start of 2023 so that is looking very good just shows the high confidence in uh, CCIV Lucid Motors so now we're going to take a look at the technicals that do support my claim of a short squeeze so now we're looking at the technical analysis and these lines that I already have up here are from the last technical analysis uh, update videos and from where we left off uh, April 12th was where our lines pretty much cut off uh, yeah April 12th straight just gap down hitting lower lows all the way down to $18.68 at the low now we are at $19.05 and we are at our absolute lowest level we have been at since this merger was announced and actually confirmed um, so this is getting into no man's land this is territory we have not seen since then we are officially down about 80% from our highs, 75, 80% uh, from our highs at $65 per share. So this is quite, quite incredible, but it's kind of ridiculous at the same time. The uh, short sellers are definitely getting the best of this stock right now. As you can even see from the RSI, we are almost going into oversold territory. And that is, I mean, pretty... You can kind of see that from just looking at the chart. It's been a straight trend line down, hitting lower lows consistently for, I mean, since about April 9th. So uh, just selling, selling off for about 10 days now. We were at about $23. Now we're sitting around the low 19s, like I said. Um, going ahead, though, it, it, it does look like we will have a bit of resistance around $23 a share. Um, nothing that would be too crazy, I would imagine. I, I think our real resistance level is going to come in about $25 a share. Uh, that is just my levels that I am personally watching. $25 is more of a psychological uh, resistance level at this point. I don't think the $23 mark is going to be anything too significant. Uh, but, I mean... <laughs> It's hard to say if we're just going to keep selling off down to our pipe price around $15 a share. You wouldn't think so. Um, but the short sellers are selling, short selling the heck out of CCIV right now because they can. There's a lack of good positive news, especially around the delivery time of uh, the Lucid Air. So they can have basically a free range short selling the stock. Now, once this pops, this is why I'm so convinced there's going to be a short squeeze. Once this pops and people start to cover, this thing could go very high from its from its nineteen dollar mark. We could easily go over twenty five, even thirty dollars a share on some good positive news. So I think that is not out of the question whatsoever. This is going to be a very very volatile stock. So I don't recommend nothing on this channel is a recommendation, but I do not recommend you do any short-term options trades or anything like that this is a buy and hold even a day trade but do it with the shares so you'd be comfortable holding the shares if you had to if worse went worse comes to worse um, 
Now, looking from here, I do expect a gap up to about the $21 share mark at basically any point. I mean, $18, $19 a share is just way oversold. You're getting close, like I said, to the $15 pipe investment level. So once we do get that good news, these short sellers are going to have to start covering their positions. There's going to be no choice about it. Uh, nobody wants to watch the stock you know, go to $30 if you're a short seller and lose 35% just like that. So uh, that is what I'm seeing from the technical aspect of it. It does look pretty clean. Trend line down. Looking for a bottom right here and to a bounce. I do think it is around the $19 mark is our uh, true and true bottom. Anything under that is basically you're stealing the shares so um around 19 dollars is the the bottom i'm looking for a bounce to about the 21 dollar mark pretty much any time so that is what i'm looking at that is what the technicals are telling me so we are really only waiting for some good news and these short sellers are going to get absolutely annihilated i am very very certain about it but don't take my word for it do your own research come to your own conclusions maybe hopefully this helps give you some insight into what is going on with ccib why i think there's going to be a short squeeze why i, I am convinced there's going to be a short squeeze at some point now i'm not saying it's gonna happen tomorrow i'm not saying it's gonna happen the day after that I'm saying it is going to happen. Who knows when it's going to happen, but it's going to happen. That is the way we are going. You cannot short sell a stock down to pipe investor price that has so much hype and future growth and expect to not have a 10 to 30% pop in any given day. So if you're on the right, right side of that, then you're going to be very happy. If you're not, then you're probably not going to be very happy. So that is what I am looking at. If you guys got anything useful out of it, hit the like button, comment down below, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell if you want to stay up to date with all of these videos. I'm going to get out of here. I got some training to do. See you later. Peace out.